that we're going to do today. Uh, there was a game that I really wanted to play called Hollywood Animals. Um, and I think the demo just came out today. Came out today. And the, it's like a Sims game about being a ruthless, like, movie producer. Um, so I think we're going to... We're gonna try this game where I'm an absolutely ruthless movie producer. Um, we'll see how it goes. I know some of you won't stick around for the gaming. It is late, I get it, but thank you for joining. Thank you for supporting, you've changed my life. I'm gonna go use the restroom and when I come back, we are gonna get into some big, big movie making. James Marco, the Hollywood animal, be back shortly. do this baby i'm really excited for this we've been waiting for this game to come out apparently it's awesome we're gonna play this demo i'm gonna be brutal i am gonna be absolutely brutal I wonder if this game is called Holly. Hold on. God, dude, come on. This game literally doesn't have a game cacher. What the fuck? I just see Holly. Specific window is not a game. All right. I think this demo doesn't have a game capture, so we just gotta run it like this. All right. It's time to make a movie, Tuts. Okay. <laughs> Vibes are off. Great Depression. Okay. Nice. We're making talkies. The strong devour the weak. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. That's for a cool. Nice. They call me Billy Pictures. <laughs> Name and logo? 
Should it be Billy Pictures? Oh, I like that. I like Billy Pictures. Billy Pictures. A raccoon? Oh, we got to do the raccoon for Barnaby. Nefarious Studios. I like Billy Pictures. Billy Pictures. Name your executives. Movies are not only made by actors and directors. Your film studios. Okay. Chief Legal Officer. Al Haas. Chief Communication Officer. Okay. Al Haas, Cutie Cinderella, and Fred Naisu. Did I spell Cinderella wrong? N A O. Naisu. There we go. Al Haas, Cutie Cinderella, Fred Nice, Love it. First film. Messenger of Death, bro. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. One gloomy morning, seven Quinton-bound prisoners, stunned the guards, snuck into a warehouse and escaped the prison in a hidden in a truck. Most of the fugitives were serving for theft and assault, but one of them was a true menace. Okay. Nice. Antagonist, serial killer. Nice. Prisoner's name is Nick Crow, but the papers all call him the Courier. He bought flowers to young women and then killed them. After five murders, the police captured the Courier on a lucky break, but they were never able to determine his motives. The maniac's first victim was his own fiance, but the choice of the rest of the girls seemed random. The very next day after the escape, the courier had always returned to his old ways. Dressed like a messenger, he delivered flowers to young Rita Peterson, then stabbed her to death. Bill Zeman, Rita's fiancé, returned from work that evening to find her beloved dead upon the floor, and his own desperate screams echoed through the neighborhood. Nick Crow, played by Edward Peterson. Nice. Protagonist. Detective. Bill! Nice! Bill had little faith in the local police, so he hired a private investigator, investigator, Harry Burroughs. Harry was a young man, but he had a sharp wit and a keen mind, enough to solve dozens of cases and even earn the reputation of a genius. Rita and I had just gotten engaged, Bill Zeman offered helplessly as Harry examined the crime scene. The police had already taken away the body, but the bouquet of roses still remained on the living room floor. Compliments of the courier.
sidekick. Harry looked around the house and talked to the neighbors, but he couldn't catch a lead. He decided to contact Kathy Watts, a journalist who'd cover the courier mur murders and details. Kathy came right away, crafting a hefty file. She got right to the point. After the previous murders, I talked to Crow's friends and learned about a cheap old shack he'd acquired long ago. It's past the city limits, headed north. I told the police about the place, but when they arrested Crow two years ago, but they just brushed me off. They figured the case was already closed. Search for the killer. Harry and Kathy hit the road, and soon enough they found the right house. It was broken down, hut, obviously unsuitable to live in. But our heroes then saw a man in the front of the house locking the door. As Harry's car approached, the stranger took off running towards the woods. Harry drew his gun and leapt from the car, but the man was already gone. We scared him off. Let's have a look inside. With that, Harry kicked the door. The shack was practically empty. A carved wooden box drew Harry and Kathy's at or Katie's attention. Inside were six diamond rings, trophies. Jesus Christ. Rita Peterson was recently engaged, and the courier was engaged to his first victim. What about the rest of the girls, Henry asked. Kathy flipped through the documents in the folder. Interesting, all the victims were soon getting married. How did they not notice that? Harry and Kathy trawled recent newspapers looking for uh, engagement announcements. Two couples surfaced. Rita and Bill, a, tra wait, a tragedy already familiar to us, and also a certain Sandy Wick and her fiancé, Tom. Harry and Katie visited Sandy, who was happy to speak of yesterday's strange visitor. Yes, some messenger came with a bouquet of roses. No card, no note, just a bouquet. I, des I decided it must be some kind of mistake, and I didn't take the flowers. The messenger just apologized and left. Harry immediately had a plan. He hired... He and Kathy hired a photographer and posed uh, as an engaged couple. They made sure to capture Harry's uh, uh, capture Harry's rented yellow brick house, the only one in the area. They advised their engagement in the they advertised their engagement in the newspaper's morning edition and paid an extra ten bucks to have the photo printed beside the article. At noon the next day, there was a knock on the door. Kathy opened it, and there stood Nick Crow, the courier, smiling nervously in the doorway. A bouquet of roses. This is from a secret admirer. Kathy feigned delight, took the bouquet, and ran to put it in a door, leaving the uh, vase, leaving the door open. The courier stepped inside the house, pulled his knife, raised it, and then felt the pistol at the temp at his temple. Harry's pistol. Oh no! The courier grew wild. You don't understand. Two years ago, I was supposed to marry my dear. Rachel, when suddenly she started receiving anonymous bouquets, I became jealous. But she just laughed and accepted all the flowers. No matter how many or how secret they might be, one week later, and I caught her in some jerk's car. All these animals are the same. First, they say it's only flowers, and then they break your heart. They deserve to be punished. The courier won't be delivering any more flowers this time. He was sentenced to the electric chair. Harry added another win to his list of cases, and Kathy wrote a book about the courier. She called it Messenger of Death. Nice! Oh, crowds love it. A film's commercial and artistic appeal may change after each stage of development. The film Messenger of Death received these ratings after work on the script was complete. The screenwriter Maurice Fox loves to write detective stories. Thanks to his experience and talent, an investigation turned out to be suspenseful and intriguing. The story's elements came together for a coherent whole. Oh! Whoa! After pre-production, the film's ratings rose even higher. Casting famous actors is the surest way to be boost the commercial and artistic appeal. But other factors also influence the ratings, including quality scenery and modern equipment. Oh, dog dick. After the production phase, the film's commercial appeal declined. 
The lead actor became seriously ill. He couldn't fight and looked too thin. However, the film's artistic appeal grew. Joe Duvall tried to make up for his lack of physique with this, with subtle, subtly it su of his acting. Production problems were reflected in lengthened schedule. Unfortunately, the actor passed away after working on the film. Oh no, Joe Duvall is fucking dead. Half a million bucks. This is how messengers of death imagine their potential audience. When you start audience, when you start shooting your own pictures, you'll identify your own audience. Okay. Oh, here we go. I think that was like the demo. Time to send the footage to post-production and complete the film. Okay. Assign employees to handle editing and scoring. At present, the studio's personnel are not the most qualified, but over time, their sk uh, st skills will grow. Okay. Um. Wait. This guy is very unhappy, but he's very loyal. And he's cheaper. I'll take the unhappy guy. Composer. Racist? We'll take Lee Woods. Thank you very much. <laughs> we also need to decide who will develop the film and record the music and the sound effects. Okay. Uh, yes. We need that music done fast and on the cheap. Nah, let's, let's spend. Fuck it. You've planned out post-production, but until you've assigned a department head, you won't be able to get things moving. Okay. I need a fucking department head. Chief of Human Resources. This guy's got no loyalty, but he's super happy. This guy is super loyal. Five-year contract? He's going to kill himself. All right, we'll take him. Okay. We need a head of post-production. Why can't I do that? Oh, here we go. What is, is that Illuminati? 39 years old, 47. I mean, this guy, four years. Okay, he's a lot more expensive. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm going to take this guy, Lewis Hudson. You're in, bro. Okay. Uh, let's speed this up, shall we? The music is a jam. Oh, am I in the right category, by the way? You're still missing department heads? Yeah, I want to hire him at the last second so we don't have to pay him. These guys all suck. I'll take this guy. Oh, these guys all suck. This guy's so cheap, though. You're in. All right. Messengers of Death is done in post-production. Nice. It's 
start working on a new movie? We haven't finished that first? What? Wait, hold on. Hold on. Where do we work on our new movie? Script department? Oh, God. All right, start construction. We're going wait, wait uh huh. Oh, I get it. Uh, we're going to be fucking broke. Okay. Oh God, Jesus, this is an expense. What? What? Why? Why? I hired the best people. Okay. Select a poster. Um, I like this one. Oh, shit. Here we go. The release calendar displays all films being shown across America for the foreseeable future. Got it. Studio's previous owners already chose a release date for the film. You'll choose the release date of the next film for yourself. All right, cool, cool, cool. Easy. You don't just own a studio, but a whole network of 91 cinemas. You can run your films in cinemas for free, but that's not going to be enough to reach a wide audience. You'll have to rent other theaters if you... Okay. 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 All right. Oh, here we go. Typically, a film begins promotion a few weeks before the premiere, so the advertising has time to gain momentum. The studio's previous owners already arranged the advertising campaign, but in the future... Okay, cool. For adults. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right, there we go. Is it making money? Shit. Oh fuck, what's happening? In my opinion, Messengers of Death is be is destined to become a hit. A farewell film by a young star. The story has a soul, but it will all go to waste unless it's released at the right moment. The studio's form former owners were mindful of these things. They scheduled production carefully and also chose a good window. Okay. But when the old studio closed its doors, the parasites from Margin's Pictures decided Messengers of Death would never see the light of day. I don't know who was pulling the strings, but they have convinced all the theater owners to give them our slots. The film Margins are released and said, don't even have a title yet. And you know what kind of slop they serve the audiences. Probably something like yesterday's fart or wet armpits. Truth is on our side. We have all the documents, but a court battle would be a long and pointless. We'll miss the moment and no compensation will cover that. Instead, I suggest we use all of our connections, all of our influence and remind theater owners that our, our agreements are to be honored. Oh shit. Is that like Illuminati symbol? Yeah, we'll Illuminati it. You can spend influence points to advance your interests and solve problems in various unconditional ways. Oh my god, I illuminati it. Alright, I think we're just waiting 
for messengers of death to scream. Yeah, this is post-production. We're waiting on our script department to... Maintenance? I guess we can just speed this up. Oh, that's for a cool. Sup, there comes. New movie? I gotta wait till our script department's done. Hey, what's up? Oh, shit. What's happening? Fred Nysu? Fred, what are you doing? I got divorced a couple of years ago, and I figured I was out of chances until I met Gladia. We spend all of our time together. We can't get enough of each other. Nysu, what are you doing? It's always like that in the beginning, but we've been together for a year now. We're like a drug to each other. I feel guilty even mentioning it, but when Gildia visits me at work, I absolutely cannot concentrate. Thank you, Jay Dilla. Thank you for the raid. I hope you had a great stream, ma'am. She captures me. Yesterday, I nearly made a mistake in the paperwork that could have cost the studio a lot of money. I mean, she bad, though. Please do me a favor. Help me fight this addiction. Let me, let's introduce some kind of access control so Gilda can't just walk into my office. Yes, my heart will be broken like any drug addict, but I'd hate to hurt your business and ruin your career. Sure, we're still controlling access. Are you crazy? Enjoy it while you can. Nice, dude. I got to get you laid, bro. I'm sorry. We're making movies, okay? What's the point if you're not getting your dick wet? All right. Messengers of death. Add a tagline. It's death. Get the message. Oh, I can't put punctuation in. Um. Ring, ring. It's death calling. It's gonna be a hit. Oh! Lured the wrong audience? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah! Okay, that, okay. This bitch. All right! I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. Do you think actors really have sex in their trailers? Yes. Okay, where's the guy that died? I guess he didn't level up. Come on, make me some money. Make me some fucking money. Make me some... Yeah! Homer Freed. Construction of the strip department is going to... According to plan, but there is a small snag. According to the architect's vision... Um, a large red leaf maple should be the center decorative element. Contractors found a suitable tree in a reserve on the border between Ontario and Minnesota and have already agreed on a price of transportation, but the inspector who's issued the permit is playing coy. He says he can't say how long the paper will take. Maybe a week, maybe a month or two. You know as well as I do, sometimes we need to grease the gears. $200 cash and the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him the fucking money. Give him the fucking money and get me my fucking tree. Yeah! We're making money! Messenger of Death is a fucking hit! Okay, script department. Done. Okay. 
Leonard Duncan looks like he is absolutely snapping dicks. Favorite genres? Um, detective? Yes, I think so. Comedy? Sure. And I think thriller, right? Or should we go pure noir and go detective action thriller? I think we go detective act action thriller and just lean into it. All right, pure noir. What are their names? Hmm. Okay, who else? Um, Hank Packer. Austin Gay. Okay. Yes. Okay, we need some ideas, boys. Historical, modern, American town, night. Adventure, modern American city, daring adventurer. Your friends must love you. Yeah, they do. Um, hmm. I don't love any of these. I'm going with the night. <laughs> I'm going with the night, baby. Historical. Oh, God. Wait, none of these are good. None of those are good fits. All right. Tommy, no rain. Let's do it. These suck. Get this shit out of my face. Give me some new ideas now. Wait, how do I get out? Did I just soft lock this? I think I just soft locked the game. I think you had to develop all three of those for the fucking tutorial. Escape? I'm press oh, there we go. Okay, 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 never mind. Pick an upgrade? Oh shit. Okay, story workshop, got it. Can I upgrade these departments? Ah. Concert hall? Sound studio. Sounds good. Oh yeah, wow. Marketing and outreach, we gotta have good marketing. Oh, shit. First four weeks is a success. Film's making a lot of money. Nice. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's nice. Cool. Glad to be subbed, my beautiful boy. Extend distribution. Thank you for the sub. All right. And now we got to upgrade something over here. Water tower landscaping. I feel like all good studios have a water tower. Then we can have Animaniacs. Oh shit, we got, okay. Ah, 
ethical services. Business, business ethics. I don't think so. $500,000 loan. Sure. All right. We got upgrades cooking. Nice. All right. All right, let's see these new ideas, gentlemen. Romance. In a modern American city with a cop. Trash! Get out of my face! Oh, yeah, wow, that's for cool. You're cooking up dog shit. Oh, we're still we're still making money on that film. That picture is making us good money. Cook me up some fucking ideas before I have you all killed. Oh. Story workshop. Nice. Sequels. We got to research sequels. People need Messenger of Death Part 2. Let's see these ideas. Thriller Wild West Cowboy. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Austin Gay, that is in your purview. Get writing. Ah, oh, look at this money we're making. Extend that distribution, baby. Oh, it's hot out. Build a story workshop. Oh, fuck. Uh -huh. What the fuck is this? Death delivery service? This is... Fucking dog shit. <laughs> Tommy No Rain, you wrote me a stinker. Ah, shit. What the fuck am I gonna do? All right, we got to build this story workshop. Fuck! I need this thing done fast. It's time to start cutting fucking corners, all right? Do we have a production department? Pre-production? What the fuck is pre-production? Ah, shit. Throw it out there. I need it done fast. Get him up. All right. All right. Yeah. This is looking pretty good. Let's see your ideas. Detective Fantasy Kingdom Cop? Sure, why not? Fucking Hank Pecker, you take this. Tommy No Rain, you're on fucking hiatus. After that piece of shit you handed me. We're still making money. We're still making money. Messengers of Death is keeping this studio alive. He's writing a story called Stab? Roy Spencer, I borrowed a, a little money for some people. They seem like good guys. They had honest eyes. I'm a great judge of people. But now, some annoying jerk is following me around everywhere, demanding I pay off the debt. I'd return the entire amount today, but I need a little more time to recoup. 
You know what they say, you might be strong, but the cards always are stronger. That's all nonsense, by the way. I'll show you the cards who's boss. So can you let me go for a couple of months while I sort this mess out? Couple of months? He's a fucking gambler? He's gonna get killed. Get the fuck out of here. We don't have anything for you to produce. I'm still working on these goddamn scripts. Let's see the ideas. All his defeats and stab are the two ones we're working on right now. I need more ideas, guys. I gotta have more ideas. Head of pre-production. This guy. Girl, sorry. Jesus Christ. These actors remain at the studio after change uh, 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 ownership. What are their names? Caroline Kwan. Uh... Uh, big tits McGee. <laughs> Guy LaFrench. Oh, we got more actors. Seer. Uncle Tickle. <laughs> and Mike Hunt. Jesus Christ, directors. Um, Will Neff and <laughs> Thin Fat Man. <laughs> All right. We're staffed. I need more fucking ideas. The legendary Lydia Globe is back in the saddle. Nearly, yes, honey, I know you're expecting me to start a new film right away, but getting used to talking is taking longer than I expected. You've got to understand, a bird that's used to flying in the clouds can't just dive down at the bottom of the ocean without a little preparation first. I'm doing speech exercises with masters of the stage, stretching my vocal cords, drinking egg cocktails, getting that velvety voice. In the morning, you can already notice a difference. That's right, honey. So please, I'm begging you. I'm, I mean, really begging. Give me three more months to get ready for my first role. What's this? Perfectionist. Sure, three months. Get the fuck out of my face. We got Big Tits McGee begging me to big in me in a picture. Where are my goddamn ideas? Story workshop. Open up that story workshop. Oh, shit. Create new. Yes. Name the movie. Um, fuck pile. Fuck pile the musical. Okay. It's a thriller. It's a thriller detective. But it's a little bit more detective. Okay. And a little bit of romance. More thriller. Okay. Modern American City. Yes. Protagonist. Um. Working man. 
Antagonist. Tribal chief? All right. <laughs> okay. Supported characters. Femme fatale. Love interest. Gay? Can I do gauge? Okay, we're doing gauge. And a rival. Oh, shit. Themes and events. Struggle for a better life. Okay, okay. Let's get rid of the femme fatale finale. Protagonist dies heroically. Love it. Oh, God. It's Tommy No Rain. Jesus Christ. I can't write this. You should find some crazy person trying to permanently destroy their career. He won't, he won't write gauge. Wait, I'm stuck. I'm soft locked again. Fuck. Shit. No rain. You broke the game. All right, let's see if I can load. Auto save. Fuck. How far back are we? No! I'm heartbroken. I wanted to write the great gay American film. Um, I probably would have gone a little longer, but not too much longer. I just wanted to try it. Um, I, uh, I was only going to do a short stream today because I'm so fucking tired. I got to keep it a buck. I, I was going to do four hours. I wanted to get you guys a stream today. Any new roguelikes? Um, we have some tomorrow. I want to play more Ghosts of Shishima. Hmm. No, no, no. What am I saying? I I have to be at the studio at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I can't stream more tonight. I want to stream more for you guys, but I can't. That would be very stupid of me. Um, that would be very stupid of me. Um... I have to be at uh, We Play Studio tomorrow at 10. We have the OTK Games Expo tomorrow. So please swing by. If I don't make stream, I'm sorry. There will definitely be a stream on Wednesday. We're doing a film night. Um, just know if I don't show up right at my normal start time, it is okay. Do not stress. Do not fret. I will still stream. We're going to do a film night on Wednesday. I'll just be a little behind. Guys, uh, I made a commitment this year to bring you a lot of fucking good content. And I feel like I've delivered on that thus far. I have brought you so, brought you so many different things that I'm really proud of. Um, Rust Kingdoms, um, the, the fight stuff, uh, all the different specialty streams, all the stuff coming up. We're bringing Donna back. Um... So thank you so much for all your support this year. It's been awesome thus far. I hope you've been enjoying it because uh, I've really been having a good time. Uh, I'm going to send you over to Wake Wilder. Please give him the same love and uh, support that you give me. Um, guys, I just want to say... Uh, 
thank you for allowing me to take some time off too. Um, that funeral was really hard on me, but I needed to do it and I got a lot of closure and I feel much better. So, um, thanks y'all. Um, and, uh, one thing I will tell you because there's always gotta be a point to what I do or else what's the point. <laughs> um, funerals have this amazing way of making you very sad, but also putting a lot of things in perspective. Don't sweat the small things. It's really not worth it. And there's always a reason that you can find to uh, be excited about tomorrow. So don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on the things that fuel you. Look to tomorrow. It's going to be a better day. And uh, you're worth it. You're awesome. I promise there's some quality about you that makes you very special and fun and unique. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Uh, I will make it to Japan because that's my dream. Stay dangerous, everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe not, but Wednesday for sure. All right. Good night, y'all.